All right, here we go. This is the part. This is the part where greatness happens. And if you were watching the tuning video and when we like got our guitar in tune, the tuner was like, let's go. Let's immediate play. Sweet home Alabama. What? I never play with my fingers on that song. Anyway, um, that's the song we're going to play. So it might seem daunting uh, that I'm like, hey, we're going to play a whole song. Let's go. The song is just three chords. There's a couple like, ooh, ooh, or whatever they do. But um, look, seriously, you never have to play that stuff anyway. Uh, you just play the basic things. And that's what we need to do because we're beginners. Um, now, you already know how to play one of these chords, which is the D. So if you've been playing uh, Shotgun and you were working on those just three note chords, uh, we're going to be playing the same exact chord, which is the D. So starting on the D string, zero, and then two on the on the G string, and then three on the B string. And we're just going to ignore the E string, the whole song. Like, we just don't care about it. Like, that does not have a place in our life in this moment. Um, music is whatever you want it to be. If you want to be complicated right now and be like, I have to learn a proper D chord, and you want to sit here and you want to strum away a D chord, you go ahead and do it and make sure you watch YouTube videos of people playing like D chords and G chords and C chords like this. But I'm all about let's play music, let's have fun. And this is a really easy song to immediately jump into because there's a couple of sneaky hacks that we're going to do here. So we're going to play a D chord like this. And then we're going to play a C chord like this. And then a G chord like this. Now, if you can see... My fingers do not move a lot. They go from here and they go up and then they go up and then back down, up, up, down, up, up. Very, very simple. So this is a really, really cool hack that will serve you for a lot, a lot of songs um, playing chord progressions like that. Hey, where did we go? Day when the rain came. Very, very simple, right? Um, you know, you know I like my chicken fry, cold beer on a Friday night, pair of jeans that fit just right in the radio. There's just like so many bangers that, you know, just playing a GCD like that is going to carry you. Now, that can be you one day, which is hopefully today. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to start with a D chord. Again, if you want a guitar pick, use a guitar pick. Actually, I'll use a guitar pick for this one because I used fingers for the last one. Um, now, what we're going to do with this is we're going to pick through the chord and then give it a strum. And then pick through the chord and give it a strum. And that's how you're going to be practicing getting the hang of these chords. So first step when it comes to learning uh, these songs, if we're just going to get the chord shapes comfortable, get our left hand understanding that, hey, I want you to do this. You have never done this before, so you are going to hate me a lot. Um, and then once your hand understands that, Hopefully, it doesn't fight you a lot <laughs> when it comes to trying to play these chords. Uh, so first chord is going to be a D chord. So we're going to start. We're going to play the zero on the D string, two on the, D, the G string, and then three on the B string. So that's your D chord. Now from here, we're going to keep that position. Keep the third finger where it is. Do not move your, your ring finger. Your ring finger is going to be rock solid, planted, never ever moves this entire whole process, ever. You gotta go to the bathroom, you keep your third finger on that guitar. Now, first finger is gonna move up one string. So it's gonna be moving from the G string to the D string. Just move it up. Like that. That's all that's happening. And now we're gonna put our middle finger on the third fret on the A string. So that's the second from the top. And we're just gonna play through that. So third finger on the A string. And then we got our second fret uh, D string, open G string, and then third fret B string. And that is the C chord. If you get stuck and you're like, oh my God, that sounds horrible, what is going on? That means you need to go back to the D. Be like, all right, I'm good at this one. I'm super confident with this one. And then all you do is that, just move your index finger up one string and then the second finger on the fifth fret on the fifth string sorry that a string on the third fret and that's where you're gonna go 
Every time you get lost, just go back to the start. Great job. That's your C chord. Now the next step after this is you're gonna grab these two fingers. Both of them, the index and the middle finger are gonna go up again. And that's your G chord. What a great sounding chord. And remember, it's about squeezing. You can see I'm bringing my thumb up here. I'm allowed to do what I do because I have graduated. Um, it's kind of like, I don't know if in school, but when I went to school, we had to write in pencils and then you eventually got the pen license and then you could write with a pen. And I was like, oh my God, I'm so cool. I got a pen license. It was like one of these big flexes that you got in like primary school. Um, but that's what we're doing here. I want you to be sitting with your thumb behind the neck. Um, and then once you can graduate from the thumb behind the neck and, and learning to squeeze, and then, and then, once you get really comfortable with that, then you can start bringing your thumb over the neck and being a bit more confident. Also, if you have gigantic hands, I'm not gonna force you to be like super straight, like down like that. Because if you have big hands, you actually just kind of like naturally will feel more comfortable here because you've got a lot of space, especially when you like can get stuff like that. Um, but yeah, that's what we're gonna be doing. So you're gonna be starting on that D chord and then move to the C and then to the G. Very simple. So keep rewinding if that if that doesn't make sense. Um, once you feel confident with the chords, you feel really comfortable with going like one, two, three, strum, one, two, three, four, strum, one, two, three, four, five, strum. You know, just pick through the strings uh, and then give them a little bit of strum. As soon as you feel comfortable with that, you are ready to actually give the song a try. Now remember, the rhythm first, then do the guitar playing. So the rhythm of the song is bum bum da bum bum da bum bum da. That's like the core rhythm of the strong, the song. Sorry, if you get that. Bum bum strum bum bum strum bum bum strum. Bum bum strum bum bum strum bum bum strum strum strum. So what I want you to do is I want you to play the bass note, so the lowest note of each chord. So for the D, you're going to be playing that open D string. Bum bum strum, and then we're going to move to the C, and you're going to play the 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 fifth string, so the A string. Bum bum strum, and then we're going to go to the G chord. Bum bum strum. And then you get three, four, bump, bum, strum, bump, bum, strum, bump, bum, strum. So if we're using our fingers, bump, bum, strum, bump, bum, strum, bump, bum, strum. Great job. You are awesome. You are great. We've got this. You can handle this. I believe in Sweet Home Alabama. Now, if you want extra points, if you're like, oh my God, I am absolutely killing this. I am so cool. Um, then totally jump in and let's let's fail some more. Let's like let's do some, let's get some sucking in our uh, in our repertoire. So if you want to do the picking part of the song, it goes bass, bass, and then you're working up the strings like this. So you're going of the chords and that's how it works. So you basically go bass, bass, and then you go from the second string or the B string, B, G, D. And then you're going back to the bass note, B, G, D, and then, and then that one's just a strum. So if you wanna play the actual song, it goes bum, bum, da, 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 bum, bum, da, 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 bum, bum, da. So remember that rhythm, cause it's actually quite tricky. Bum bum da 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 bum bum da da da. So that second last note holds a little bit longer. Bum bum da 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 bum bum da 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 bum bum da. So remember, always singing these rhythms is really important. So bum bum da 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 bum bum da 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 bum bum da. Bum bum da 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 bum bum. And you can use your fingers if you want. Or 
or if you I get comfortable with other fingers. It's a bit more advanced. Don't feel bad if you can't jump into it, but you should totally just like, seriously, just jump in just to be like, I wonder if I can, and then totally fail. It's the best. That's what I love doing is uh, I'll get into a song and I'll be like, oh man, I'm getting pretty confident at this. And then what was the song recently that um that uh, the stream asked me to learn? It was the... Uh, See, I'm already making the mistakes. Ah, gosh. Um, I keep making mistakes. Anyway, I was like, yeah, I'll give it a shot. Why not? Like, let's suck. Um, so seriously, um, like wherever your level's at, just like anytime you, you get a chance to be like, ooh, I wonder if I, I wonder if I can have a hard time with this, uh, do it. Because sometimes you'll surprise yourself. Even if you got like a couple of the notes right, that's a win. Like the fact that you tried is already a win. Um, make sure if you're keeping up with your 20 hour practice little booklet thing, you jot down how much time you've got. Remember pay, we're all about you. Don't think of it as like, um, don't think of it as like, oh, I need to practice all the time. Just think, okay, like there's 20 hours required of me to practice that's going to get me from a beginner to intermediate. Honest to God, from beginner to intermediate is probably just 20 hours. Uh, I will kid you not, you could go for in 20 hours, you most likely will be able to play um, a solid like eight to 10 chord shapes that are really, really rudimental in many songs. And you probably will have the foundation to probably play at least a hundred songs. So 20 hours, and then you can play a hundred songs. I, I'm not joking. And when you guys hit your 20 hour mark and you come back to me and you say to me, Luan, you're full of shit. I did 20 hours of practice and, and I can't play a hundred songs. And I'm going to say, well, what can you play? And then you're going to look back and you'll be like, well, actually I can play quite a lot, but most likely it will be 100 songs. And if it doesn't, then we'll get you on one of the Q and A's and then I will find out what is going wrong. Because if you put in that 20 hours, I really want to see what I can do to help you. Even if it's just 10 minutes of my time, it might make a big difference. So make sure you jot that down. So that is the initial jumping in, uh, messing around with some chords, messing around with some picking uh, part of the course. And then now we're going to be moving on to um, some like strumming things and some more like uh, understanding of songs. Uh, one thing I definitely need you guys to do is make sure if you have a capo, you have it ready for the next sections. Um, capos are, or capos, or however you like to pronounce it, they're absolutely awesome. Um, I literally don't have one in, in front of me. That would have been so handy to just be like, this is a capo. But if you were looking at my gear guide, go back up uh, in the modules, in the setup guides on what you need to have, um, you need a capo. Google it, capo, get one. Uh, thing is not expensive. It's like $10 for some of them. You can get really fancy ones, but just get a simple capo just to put on the get on the fretboard because what it's going to do is going to allow you to play so many songs in different keys, um, but using core concepts. So you only have to learn like a handful of guitar shapes and then you can play like a hundred songs and it's just like amazing and makes your life so easy, especially if you want to sing and play as well. So this is a really strong foundation for all the beginners who are wanting to sing and they want to play the guitar. So we're going to be jumping into that strumming and picking and all that stuff, technique stuff is going to be the next set. So go back through these past few videos that I've done, um, check up, see how you go with them. Don't feel pressure to be like, oh, I need to jump into the next one right away. There's a lot that your hands are going through. There's a lot your brain is going through. Do not expect to have this click immediately typically when you have a guitar teacher they're going to give you like we're going to learn for a week um you're going to learn one thing and then you go home and you practice and you come back the next week you don't have to do that here literally you practice post stuff in the school post videos of yourselves the best way to do it is just get up in there just post that join discord join like find ways to communicate with other beginners um like you guys control this. You guys can be accountable to each other. You guys can help each other grow. 
don't be afraid. Some people might have already done this module and they've already seen the benefit from it and you're jumping in and be like, oh my God, I'm having a hard time with like this G chord on Sweet Home Alabama. Does anyone have any tips? And then someone will be like, oh my God, I had this really big frustrating thing. Like my index finger kept doing it because my hand is shaped a certain weird way. Like there's so many things that you will find communicating with others. So jump into the school, jump in and communicate. Let people know about you. Try, post videos of yourself. We can't help you unless you let it be known that you need help. So please, um, that's, that's my call to action. All right, love you all. Um, great job making it through this stuff and also great job to me recording this because I'm stoked. I um, really, really hope this brings you guys value. Um, and then I'll see you in the next video. Hell yeah.